Hi and welcome to my channel. So the Minister of Health in Ghana, Honorable Kwaku Manu, has just announced that they have been in talks with the British government to get nurses from Ghana to come and work in the UK. So obviously this is very good news for all nurses that are currently in Ghana because it's going to mean that it will make it a lot easier for nurses from Ghana to come and work in the UK. So the minister has given, you know, all the details about this particular deal you know, that they have had with the British government. And he has explained that everything is basically been finalized and they are currently just waiting on the, the parliament in Ghana to pass this through and then they are going to get started with the recruitment. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you what the terms are that the Ghana government has agreed with the British government. What is the term, you know, for these particular nurses that are going to come through this pathway? What does it mean for nurses in Ghana? What have you got to gain? And what are the disadvantages of this particular pathway? So if you're new to the channel, it's a pleasure to have you. If you're a returning subscriber, again, it's such a privilege that you return to watch these videos over and over again i do hope that you find them helpful and look if you're interested in you know working in the uk career progression in the uk you're a nurse you're looking for carer job visa sponsorship i do have a newsletter where i can send this information directly to your inbox so that you're not you know, hoping on the YouTube algorithm to show you videos that are relevant to you, but I'll send the information directly to your inbox. So if you check the comment section, I'm going to leave a link, you know, to my newsletter and you can join the newsletter that way so that I send all the info directly to your inbox. So this is very, very good news. And look, when I saw this, I was like, well done to the government in Ghana. And it hasn't really come as a surprise because when the NMC, which is the Nursing and Welfare Council, you know, here in the UK, when they release data, about all the you know all the overseas nurses that have recruited in the last 12 months Ghana was a foot highest country from where overseas nurses were recruited in the last 12 months so the first country obviously you've got india you've got philippines you've got nigeria and then you've got ghana so this is the first time that ghana has grown so high in the list to be the fourth highest country from where nurses are being recruited which means that so many nurses are coming over from ghana but what does this new deal mean so the minister like i said um honorable kwaku Mano did give all the details about what they've agreed with the british government and by the way in case you're new here and you're wondering who i am my name is melvis i currently work as an advanced nurse practitioner in the UK so I work for the NHS I also have a private career coaching service where I support with career progression in the UK if you're a nurse you're a carer you're a student nurse you want to get into nursing you want those healthcare jobs clinical and non um, clinical healthcare jobs then in my private coaching program I can support you with that process whether it's interview preparation whether it's deciding what's the best pathway to follow whether you want to become a nurse anesthetist a specialist nurse a nurse manager a nurse practitioner nurse endoscopies it really doesn't matter my program Program will give you all the resources that you need to thrive to excel and to have a great career in the uk as a nurse as a carer or a healthcare professional so you want to consider joining that as well once you've joined obviously my newsletter um because i'm going to be bringing that information straight to your inbox so that's who i am and that's why i'm really interested in this particular topic because i currently have many nurses and midwives you know in my private coaching program that are from ghana you know some are still over in ghana some are already in the uk so this is really exciting news for all of us to see so what does this mean you know what has the minister given away so far so the minister has said that um Obviously, you know, for every nurse that Ghana sends to the UK through this particular pathway, Ghana is going to get about a thousand pounds, you know, to support the health system in Ghana, which is very, very good. So for the government, obviously, they're going to get that money for each nurse that comes to the UK through this particular pathway. And then for the UK, they're going to get a nurse who's already trained, who's already qualified to work, you know, which obviously is a bonus because the UK is currently short of over 50,000 nurses as we speak. So you can see the advantage for both countries. Obviously, you know, as far as the NMC is concerned, you may be watching this and you're thinking, Melvis, will these nurses need to do ALS? Will they need to do OET? Will the process be different? Look, this agreement is between the government in Ghana and the government in the UK. So the NMC will still expect these nurses to have the required grades for the International English Language Test as well as the Occupational English Test. So you still need to write ALS or OET and have the required grades as recommended by the NMC. Also, you need to do the CBT, you know, as is currently the case. You need to register with the NMC just like you would normally do even without this agreement. So this agreement does not mean that nurses from Ghana now need to bypass the ALT or OET. They still need to do it and have the required grace like everyone else. Where it has a difference is when you're looking for a job. So once you've had all those requirements, if you're looking for a job and this agreement is in place, then it's a lot easier securing a job in the UK because then 
it, it's more like you've already got a hospital to go and work and there's that automatic allocation of places which is a great opportunity you know for nurses over um in ghana but you still need to write it out and oet obviously like i said by the way if you haven't subscribed to the channel you want to hit subscribe you want to turn on to Turn on that notification button because you want to be the first to be notified. I drop a video on YouTube every single day on failingly. I bring you all the updates, you know, about nursing, about career progression, you know, if you're a carer, you know, in healthcare, so that you're aware of what's happening. And some of these things are also going to help your interview because, look, in interviews, they're going to ask you current events that are going on in nursing. So if you're watching my channel, you're going to be up to date with the changes that are happening. So if you're going, especially for those senior positions, you want to distinguish yourself, you want to be different. And that is why this channel is so good. And I make sure that I bring you the latest updates. I actually have a playlist which says um, important updates. So if you check, check it out, you're going to see all the latest updates, you know, as regards to nursing. And I just post things, obviously, as they come along. So I'm going to also tell you the disadvantage that this particular pathway has for any nurse from Ghana who is going to use it as a minister has also um, obviously spoken about this particular fact. So if a nurse from Ghana uses this pathway to get to the UK, they can only stay in the UK for three years. This means that after three years, that nurse has to go back to Ghana. So that's what they basically agreed. It is not a permanent residence that you're going to get. It's like a temporary visa, even though you're permanent working, but it's only going to be for three years, which means after three years, you will have to return to Ghana because that's what the government in Ghana has agreed with the government in the UK. And mind you, because Ghana is on the red list, this is not also a surprise because the UK needs to be seen to be adhering to these principles that have been brought in by the World Health Organization. And so they cannot be seen to be doing otherwise. So even though these nurses are going to be leaving Ghana and coming to the UK, they will need to be going back to Ghana after three years of experience in the UK. So it's more about you're leaving Ghana, you're coming to the UK to have that experience. But like I've said, after three years, you need to go back, which means that if you are a nurse in Ghana, and you choose not to use this pathway when you come to the UK you're going to have obviously a permanent residence which means you can stay in the UK but with this particular pathway that the government has agreed they have said you will need to go back to Ghana after three years so it's similar to say a commonwealth scholarship which if the government funds you to study in the UK you're expected to go back to your home country you know upon successful completion even if you complete your course and you choose to stay in the UK for example you will not be able to because that's going to be one of the terms of your visa so it's the same thing for these nurses so this is very important if you're a nurse from Ghana you want to share this with your fellow nurses you want to make sure that you're reading the terms and conditions well because I've seen nurses that have come from other countries using bilateral relations with the you know with the uk and then when they get here three years you need to go back and people are like oh i want to stay what about my family what about this it really doesn't work if you're using this pathway to come to the uk like i've said you would need to go back to your country after three years because it is a temporary agreement or a temporary visa which means that you cannot stay here permanently if you come through this pathway but if you use the normal pathway where you find your job yourself then obviously you can stay in the uk and become you know, a permanent residence or have UK citizenship, you know, w once the time is right. But again, with this pathway, you will not be able to. So share this with your friends. Make sure you're aware. Make sure that you read the terms and conditions from this government agreement. That's what the minister, you know, honorable, um, Kwakumano, that's what he has said, that that's what they've agreed. Ghana already has a similar um, agreement with Barbados, which means that Ghana has over a hundred nurses actually have already left Ghana and gone to Barbados using this particular agreement. So you need to be very, very careful. Make sure you read your agreements well. Make sure you're aware of the differences with the two pathways, you know, you have to decide, do you want to take longer to find a job yourself and move to the UK and have, you know, that permanent residency where you can stay here? Or do you want to use the pathway that the government has put in place, which would definitely be easier for you to get a job in the UK, but it will mean that you need to return home to Ghana after three years. So this is what the decision that you will have to be making if you choose to use this pathway or you choose not to. But either way, I'm going to say congratulations to the government in Ghana. You should know that doing a fantastic job and hopefully other governments are going to look into this because it gives an opportunity to those nurses who want to explore other opportunities. You may just want to have experience in the UK. You may just want to work and save money for something, you know, and then you go back home. This is an excellent opportunity that's going to, you know, mean that you don't need to struggle to get that job. But you do need to be aware that if you come and you choose to remain in the UK, you will not be able to do so because you will have to return, which means that your visa is going to be different from the visa um, of somebody who 
has come independently, obviously, because this visa is through a bilateral agreement. So it is going to be different just so that you're aware and there's no mix up because like I say, people come to the UK and then they decide that they want to stay. You know, I've seen this, you know, with some of the people in my private coaching program and some of the nurses that I've had, you know, the opportunity to meet and they are like, oh, Melvis, you know, I came through this agreement. I didn't know that that's how it was. I want to stay in the UK. You know, I don't want to go back home. But once you've come through that pathway, you know, you will need to go back home. Even if you want to return to the UK, you have to go back home and, you know, come through a different means all, all together so you do want to be aware of all these different things again if you haven't joined my newsletter you want to check the comment section join that newsletter because i'll send that information directly to your inbox again career progression is something i'm really passionate about and i'm here to bring you the latest information about nursing you know things that concern you things that are going to impact you know on you know on your life and your career as a nurse or as a carer or as a midwife in the uk or somebody who is keen and interested in studying nursing so again thank you for watching the video keep watching the video i've done videos on the channel about how to get jobs you know tips interview preparation my own journey um to you know i was able to progress from a carer to a nurse practitioner so you can do that as well you know there's always a stepping stone there's a starting point but that's not where you're going to end you can keep thriving you know keep going for the best opportunities and that's why i'm here to bring them to you so again if you need support with this process then consider joining my private coaching program because that's where i can support you closely and one-to-one -one. otherwise i'm here to bring these videos onto you on youtube so that they can help you they can support your journey to make things easier and so that you can thrive thank you very much for watching